Hi everybody, this is Kevin from PeaceGardenSecrets.com and um, this is the second video of a series of videos I'm creating about the International Peace Garden and the esoteric knowledge encoded within its layout. The first video covered how um, this star came to appear here at the Peace Gardens, why it's appropriate to the landscape, and um, its relationship to a pentagram, giant pentagram in the Pacific Ocean, and how that pentagram points to the Great Pyramids of Egypt. So check out the first video to if you want to see what I'm talking about. This video, um, when I made the other video, I realized that people would be like, well, you could just draw pentagrams anywhere, link them up, and make it so. So I want to give the methodology of, of how I came to this um, to help you better understand what's going on here. So uh, first of all, like I said, this, this pentagram is appropriate in this position of the garden. And watch my first video to see why this is the case. So if we take that as a given, the next thing we do is we want to draw um, if we draw a line from this tip right through the uh, that X and follow it straight out on that heading it goes to the very apex of that pentagram in the Pacific so um, we got to determine what's the heading to draw the line from so this angle of a pentagram is 36 degrees and if you bisect the pentagram the angle will become 18 degrees uh, due west is 270 degrees and since this pentagram is oriented to the peace garden which is oriented to the map east and east uh, west to east and north to south then due west is um, if you add 18 degrees to the due west setting you get 288 degrees. So I just want to show you that in this pentagram that this line, if I dial it in to 288, well it's close enough, you can see that that it, it clearly goes through these two points and is aligned with the bisection of that pentagram. So, so let's start again and take the line all the way out to the apex of the pentagram and okay so here it is and I'll bring back in the measurement um, window so you can see that the we're going to set it to 288 degrees Oops. and that's close enough. So notice that we're on the right um, bearing from that pentagram in the Peace Garden and that notice the ground length in inches is 299,792,000 and the map length is 299,854,000. This just coincidentally enough is equal to the speed of light in meters. You can look it up. That's just a interesting coincidence I wanted to point out. So now I drew a line and we have a line to the Pentagon axis. So the next thing we need to do, um, since we know where it bisects, we can draw one of the lines of the pentagram. And we'll start that, we can, the obvious place to start that from is the highest point of the Big Island of Hawaii. So, well, it's Mauna Loa. I, I'm not sure if it's the highest point, I shouldn't say. It just seemed like an obvious place to start. Again, arbitrary decision, but I made it. Alright, so if we go out 
and look along this arch and extend the line to there. I found a distance that works and I'll change this to kilometers. An appropriate distance is 3,333 if I can just get it there. Okay, so you see that it's close enough to 3,333. We'll go and take a look at the line and see how it corresponds to that ridge. And arguably, it's a pretty good correspondence. This point and the point, I believe those are Midway Islands, are right on the... Are those Midway Islands? Anyhow, that's a bit of an aside. Bit of an aside. Um, so arguably it follows the ridge and we'll take that as, as our starting line. So I'll draw that in and then we'll lose this. Okay, so now to construct a pentagram you can go look it up on the internet. Um, it's just, you just use circles and those circles define the, the points which to draw. So, so I'll just, I don't know if I said pentagram, I mean pentagon, to construct a pentagon. So let's just do that. Draw the first circle from the apex point, um, 3,333 kilometers. Notice it goes through Hawaii, and that'll define this line up here. The next circle is from the centered on the Big Island of Hawaii, and extends out 5,477 kilometers, for those of you keeping track. And that defines a point up here, so we can draw the second line. Um, and that has pretty good correspondence with that ridge. And importantly, goes right between the Aleutian Islands and the mainland of Russia in that gap there. So that to me has some geological significance. Okay, so once you've done that, we got a, the new point. Um, I'll erase the first circle and we'll draw a circle centered on this point. And you can see it's of the proper length because it goes through that point. Because we want all the sides to be the exact same length, right? And that defines another point. So we can draw a line there. And then we repeat. another circle and we, we need a point down here so we'll we uh, draw a circle from Hawaii at 3,333 and you can see it goes through there and that defines the last point here and that allows us to draw the final two lines so I'll get rid of those circles oh, I mean the circles okay now we have the Pentagon you connect the dots and you get a pentagram. So we started from an axis defined by a bearing from the International Peace Garden and this other axis that you see drawn on the map is simply the line that goes between uh, Hawaii and the Great Pyramid of Egypt. So I'll zoom in on that just so you can see that the line does indeed go directly to the pyramid. There it is. And we'll go around, back around the planet, and you can see the black line coming in right to the same the same place there. So it's obviously aligned with this, in my opinion. And the question is, how close is the alignment? So let's just take a look at this point here. And how far is it from the actual crosshairs of that X? It's 
about 11 kilometers or so it looks like and so the distance from there to Mauna Loa is 4,058 um, so 11 kilometers over 4,000 kilometers is is pretty accurate so you can make of it up what you will but I, I found it pretty remarkable so I want to thank you for watching and I want to direct you to my website peacegardensecrets.com where I'm posting a whole series of videos about the International Peace Garden and the um, esoteric knowledge encoded within the garden and uh, I just want to thank you again for watching so be in truth and act in integrity.